All right, guys, are you ready to go inside this engine and see does Seafoam actually clean intake valves on a direct injection engine or GDI? So we all have that carbon buildup issue and we can take the cylinder head off this mower pretty easy. So we're gonna do a compression test before and after. We're also gonna use an infrared gun and other thermometers also you can see we're timing the test and we're going to go half and half mixed half oil half gasoline this engine's really going to be lucky to run and boy do i got some great things in store so you can see i've installed a clear fuel tank this way we can see just what's going in the engine and this is used oil so i won't be surprised with all the issues i'm having gumming up the carburetor but nothing that a little starter fluid won't fix so we'll continue on with our test and guys make sure if you want to see some great videos that you have came up with ideas make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll definitely put your ideas to the test so whether it's transmission fluid run through the engine hey just make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, we're going to drop this in the generator. We're going to find out just how well Seafoam can help performance by adding a kilowatt meter to the generator. So this way we can know the amperage, voltage, and wattage with a load on the generator. And before and after with the Seafoam. So, with it being timed and the load, we'll be able to see does Seafoam actually help out our performance. I'm definitely excited to see this. This is something I've been waiting for for quite some time, trying to put all the pieces together. So, you guys are really going to be excited with the results. And I used this Seal All product. I was a little skeptical, but it seemed to work well for a fuel tank. And just like that or any other product like seafoam or some of the tools that I use whether it be a bore scope just make sure you check out the description below and I'll go ahead and include a link this way you guys can find out more information not only on the tools that's being used but on seafoam so if you want to take a closer look I'll also include some more information in this video giving you guys the cast number, the product number, and other important information because I want to know everything that goes inside my engine. And we're going to go ahead and strip this engine down. This way we can take a closer look. I know you guys have been waiting for it. And after all that oil, I'm really curious to see just what it did. At one point, I thought the engine was definitely going to blow up. I thought it definitely destroyed my engine. But, seems like the test is going to carry on. So, you can see I got my digital torque meter. Take our push rods out. Now, let's go ahead, break our head loose. If you have any questions at all, hey, Go check out the comments below because I'm telling you that's where the best information comes from. I've learned a lot myself checking out other people's questions and answers. You guys ask a lot of great questions. So make sure you dive right in to the NIA community, Nate's Interactive Auto. This way you can share information or knowledge and experience with products or ideas that you may have. Well. What do you guys think? What do you think about all this carbon buildup? I mean, this is a brand new engine, and I ran that oil through it, a lot of oil. So we'll go ahead, add our fuel to our generator. You can see we're about to fire the generator up. I'm ready to see just how well this is gonna go. So hopefully it won't cause my generator to start smoking a lot, because also, this is a new generator and I'm going to use this little small heater puts out 
1500 watts of electricity and put it on a full load. This way we can judge the seafoam and see how it affects the performance. You can see there's a lot of smoke. So that's just the generator starting up. Not so sure that's a good sign, but that's what it is. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and we'll definitely come up with some really great ideas. As a matter of fact, the next idea that I have is going to be just amazing. So I hadn't really ever seen anyone perform it and I can't wait till I get this project finished. I'm really, really excited for you guys to see it. Well, right here you can see we're looking at our voltage, now our amperage. Now we're going to be looking at the next spot will be our watts. Now we're going to get this cleaned up around the gasket area. This way we get a good seal. Lac within her always does a really great job at cleaning this stuff up. And I've never had an issue with a head gasket. So, go ahead and put our head back on, torque down our head bolts with our torque wrench. Now let's go ahead add the sea foam since we've got everything back together. Here you can see the product information. So also we have the flash point. Well y'all, now we've added our sea foam to the lawnmower and I'm definitely ready to get wrenching. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this test finished with. I have the lawnmower and the generator simultaneously running. I'm ready to see these results and as you can see right here we have it in slow motion Alright, we're finally starting to get really, really close to see these results. You guys just aren't going to believe how this turned out. I know I definitely didn't. I'm definitely a skeptic of just about all these products. Well, stick around just another moment and find out for yourself. 36 minutes and 3 seconds before Seafoam. Now, 38 minutes in six seconds after sea foam. As you can see, here's our measurements before sea foam 21 mm and 17 mm after sea foam. So we did get quite a bit of a smaller measurement after using sea foam. As far as the piston goes, I see a little bit, but I don't like to give my opinion. So Thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.